Welcome to your 35 minute indoor cycling endurance workout. I'm Tiana, your spinning coach for today's workout. Today, our focus on the bike is maintaining our cadence while we increase that resistance. We will be working with lower RPMs, mainly about 60 to 70 RPM. So we wanna build strength, endurance, and we have a little bit of flat road to recover three segments working on hills. I'll be guiding you with RPMs and letting you know how it should feel. This is your flat road. This is your small hill. This is your steep hill. So get on your bike. Let's get started with that light warm up. Find your nice, light, easy pace. That could be anywhere from three to five turns on your bike. Relax your upper body, let your legs do the work, smooth circles. Have that water bottle ready, a towel. For your warm up, find that resistance where you can go fast, but you're not wobbling all over the place. You have control over your bike. You can connect to that flywheel, feel that road underneath your feet. Heels down. Strong core, a little bend in our elbows. Just under one minute of our warm up left. We'll head straight into this ride. My bike was in the shop for a couple days. Had to get a little tune up. So hopefully it's working good and he was making some weird noises. So hopefully those are gone. I encourage you to get into this music as we get started here, find your rhythm. You can be on the rhythm, slightly above it. We're looking for consistency, not necessarily intensity during this ride. Add a couple turns on your bike, find that flat road. So we do have some resistance on our flat road, a little bit of kickback. to 70 RPMs here. turns find your heel resistance stand and climb our goal right now hang on to that resistance that you're the cadence that you had on your flat road we're back over that saddle our core is strong if you can't maintain your pace and you need to touch back a little bit, a little turn on your resistance, a quarter turn, whatever it is, it's all good. Two, one, back in the saddle, take off a couple turns, back to your flat road. Cadence. Hand position three. Maybe 
out here. You can hold on. That resistance, find your fly road. This time we have a seated hill coming up. A little bit longer. Add that hill resistance. Rest. Our time on the bike is our time to unwind, de stress, recharge. Hill resistance. We're pushing back 60 to 70 RPMs. Listen to that music. Find your beat. to have a little fun on the bike. Get into the music. We gotta have fun during our workouts. Looking good. Two minutes left to climb. Heels down. About back in that saddle.
One, reach down, add that flat road. 60 to 70 RPMs. See if you can find your beat, find your rhythm. Flat roads. We can let our mind wander a little bit. Cruising speed. Shifted back over those pedals, over our seat. Four, three, two, one, take it down. Hang on to that same resistance. Flat back, flat back, 
little bend in our elbows. Strong seated climb position. guessing we have some accelerations coming up next so I want you to maintain that climbing resistance and I'm just gonna ask you to pick up the pace again making those noises so I don't know if it got fixed three two one just slow it down same resistance maintain 60 to 70 rpms Acceleration. 
four, three, two, one, pick it up. Can you get to 80? 80 RPMs. We're past, whatever you wanna do. Just don't go past 110. 30 seconds, looking good. Hang on to it, 10 seconds. Awesome, take it off, recover on your light, easy, easy pace, below your flat road. Something so you're not wobbling all over the place, but just light, easy pedal strokes. Get your water, towel off, breathe, allow yourself to recover, sit up if you need to. Find your flat road again. Connect to that flywheel. We feel a little bit of resistance, a little bit of pushback from our bike, but smooth, steady. Pedal with purpose. Let your legs do the work. Even when we get tired, check your form. to 70 RPMs. ride if you like it I always love a little thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe so we can always work out together new rides every week keep your workouts fresh let's meet our goals together team reach down Find your hill resistance, that might be a couple turns, might be more depending on how much you want to challenge yourself. Still 60 to 70 RPMs. Find your comfortable pace. down add your super hill whatever that is for you one turn two turns a quarter of a turn maintain that pace if you added too much on and you need to tap it back no problem let's ride together push through the resistance one minute here let's go
One, take it off, back on your heel. Maintain your same speed. Just gets a little bit easier because you don't have as much resistance. Touch your back a bit. Looking good, you got this. One minute here. Push down. Tap into that inner strength when it gets tough. Our legs get tired, but we can push. listen to your body do what you need you know yourself you know your body you've got this four three two one take it off back to your heel same cadence just got easier Some resistance but this time I'm gonna ask you to stand and climb four three two one reach down and climb this is your steep hill same cadence but back in the saddle heels down engage your core open chest strong posture today. Maintain that 60 to 70 RPM. 
same drill. We're gonna stand at a steeper hill and climb. Reach down at your steeper hill, stand and climb. 60 to 70 RPMs, 30 seconds. This is your last climb. Strong to the end, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, sit. Take it off, find your flat road. Let's pick up the pace. 80 to 100 RPMs. It'll feel good to let your legs fly a little bit. Woo. Seconds, and then we cool down. Awesome, awesome work today. Four, three, two, one. Take off that resistance. This is your easy, light, cool down pace. Let our legs flow. Let our heart rate come down. Let our bodies cool down. Stay with me for a little upper body stretching and lower body stretching. your upper body. your fingers together behind your back. Stretch, feel that nice stretch in your chest, shoulders. Shake out those arms. If your legs haven't come to a stop already, push down on your resistance knob and dismount your bike for some lower body stretching. Heel to glute, stand up tall, feel that nice stretch in your quad. Squeeze those legs together. Figure four stretch, heel over your knee, sink back into that stretch, hang onto your bike for stability. Opposite leg, heel to glute, stand up tall, squeeze those legs together, feel that nice stretch in the front of your leg, your quad. Same leg over your knee, sink back into that stretch. All right, guys, 
cycle, sweat, repeat until we reach our goals. I can't wait to see you right back here for our next workout.